This is huge. We have new info on Ryzen 10,000 CPUs, RX 10,000 GPUs, next-gen Halo APUs, but before I get to that, Ryzen AI Max Gaming Benchmarks and AMD has a huge surprise for FSR 4. Welcome everyone to Gamer Mel. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, we know that AMD announced their Ryzen Max CPUs at CES, but unfortunately they didn't give us all that many details. Sure, we got specs and all of that, which were actually leaked months ago, and of course if you like being one of the first to know all the latest PC hardware news, make sure you subscribe to Gamer Meld. Either way, they didn't give us much in the way of actual performance versus discrete GPUs, that is, until now. As you can see right here in this chart, AMD is comparing their Ryzen AI Max Plus 395 versus an NVIDIA RTX 4070 as well as a Core i9-13900H. Now, this is within an ROG Flow Z13, which is basically just a tablet, but they state that it competes with an RTX 4070 at similar TDP and form factor. And the simple fact is they probably mean the Ryzen AI Max Plus within an ROG Flow Z13 because that's one of the only consumer products that AMD announced that comes with a Ryzen AI Max Plus. But still, obviously this TDP and everything is going to hamper the RTX 4070, but as long as this is an ROG Flow Z13, it's completely comparable because they would both have similar TDP and of course pretty much the exact same form factor. And when it comes to that, as you can see, the Ryzen AI Max completely crushes the RTX 4070. We're talking 77 FPS versus 56, 57 to 87. Yes, some of these are very similar, but it definitely wins overall, getting as high as over 60% better performance up to over 60% better performance versus the 4070. Now, as always, do at least somewhat take these with a grain of salt just because they are, of course, from AMD and you definitely want to wait for third-party benchmarks. But if this is true, the Ryzen AI Max Plus is a serious beast. Of course, don't forget that the built-in iGPU Radeon 8060S comes with a whopping 40 CUs. So we definitely expected this, but for it to even be this much better than an RTX 4070, yes, notebook RTX 4070, but still, this is seriously impressive. <gasps> Hello? What? Hel Good. You're up. Are you ready to talk? I still don't get what you want. You know exactly what I'm after. The same thing everyone wants. My mom's your personal chili data. recipe? Did you just say your mom's chili recipe? We've heard it a hundred times at this point. Scammers, data brokers, all these advertisers, they all want one thing, your data. And there are ways to help protect yourself like VPNs, but what happens when they already have it? Luckily, that's where today's sponsor comes in. They're called Delete Me, and they basically contact data brokers and force them to delete your personal information. See, it's data brokers who buy and sell your personal data to anyone out there, but Delete Me helps ensure that it's kept private. So don't end up like the guy in the chair and visit joindeleteme.com slash meld. And when you use the promo code meld at checkout, you'll get 20% off your Delete Me US consumer plan. Once again, that's joindeleteme.com slash meld code meld. And next up for today, AMD is a huge surprise when it comes to FSR 4. Don't forget that FSR 4 is AMD's next generation upscaling tech, but the really big key to it is the fact that it requires machine learning. This of course, like I've said, is essentially AMD giving in to the fact that Nvidia was clearly right when they did DLSS. And if you've seen my video on FSR 4, you know that it's way better than last gen's FSR 3. Unfortunately, because it is machine learning, learning based, AMD is claiming that it is going to require next-gen GPUs. With that said, it does look like there is some very good news 
because according to Kepler on Twitter, you can see right here, he claims the RDNA4 driver replaces FSR 3.1 DLL with FSR 4, to which video cards responded with, so you're saying all FSR 3.1 games will be day one FSR 4 games? And he responds, yeah, it should just work. And yeah, that does mean, unfortunately, once again, that it's only currently supported on next-gen GPUs, but at least it'll be on a ton of games. And lastly for today, a massive leak just dropped that encompasses a ton of AMD's next generation products. As you can see right here, this leak originally comes from a well-known leaker on the Chippo forums who has definitely gotten tons of stuff right in the past. And yeah, let's just get right to it. As you can see, it says the desktop Zen 6 CCD, so CCD, this is the actual compute die. We're talking the die that has all the cores, all the really important stuff to the CPU. And it is based on the N3E process, meaning AMD's next gen Ryzen 10,000 CPUs, given that's what they're called and they don't jump to the 11,000 or anything like that. I definitely would be surprised if they would do that, but this means that they are getting a very nice die shrink. Not only that, but the next gen UDNA apparently is also getting this N3E process die. Now, for those who may not remember, UDNA is something that AMD actually officially kind of announced during an interview where basically before RDNA and CDNA, they actually had a general purpose architecture and they claimed when they split them up that this would make things you know better because they can be more specialized for what they're doing, either gaming with RDNA or compute optimized with CDNA. Well, they have decided to go back to a general purpose architecture and that is set to be UDNA. Well, according to this, he claims that the big core flagship is back, meaning AMD is set to compete at the high end not just the mid-range with their 9,000 cards. Now, I do want to point out that also just recently, Kepler on Twitter claimed that AMD won't be beating the 5090 next gen, and this is in reference to uh, UDNA, and he said, how did you know? It says they aren't making a big enough GPU. Now, with that said, there is a chance that he's just looking at the die size but AMD plans to combine two dies or something along those lines. So he may not necessarily be wrong, but this person may not be wrong either. But either way, it does sound like it should at least be competing with higher end GPUs, maybe the RTX 5080 instead of the 5090. Moving on, as you can see here on the APU side, the next generation of Halo, which is that Ryzen Max monster APU, according to this, will stack 3D to improve the performance of both the CPU and GPU, meaning this bad boy could come with, say, 3D vCache or maybe 3D stacked memory, I'm not really sure, but this could make an absolute killer APU. Basically, AMD is not sitting on their laurels. They're working hard to improve things, and hopefully when it comes to their gaming GPUs, they may actually compete with flagship GPUs. Maybe even the 5090, of course. This is one leaker versus another. Both of these leakers have been very accurate in the past, so it's hard to say for sure, but next-gen CPUs, APUs, and GPUs are already looking incredibly exciting. So while that does it for today, what are you most excited about for AMD's next gen? There's CPUs, GPUs, or APUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Delete Me by visiting the link in the description below. And as always, have a great day.